Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Dustin. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how I take care of my last Ronin issues. They're big, they're bulky. How do you bag and board them? When you want to submit them to CGC, how do you do that? If you want to know, hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. Now, I know a lot of people have had a lot of questions surrounding The Last Ronin. For some people, this is their first time with a Turtles book. And you get this thing and you're like, what do I do with this? It's huge, it's bulky, it's wide, it's tall, it's crazy. What do we do with this? It doesn't fit in anything. I'm going to show you guys what I use uh, to bag and board my Last Ronin copies. Um, and also, we're going to go over... Um, something that has become kind of controversial here uh, on, on our channel and some of the other videos uh, when it comes to submitting these to CGC. Uh, so we're going to get to that as well. Uh, first off, I want to show you guys bags and boards for these comic books. Now, when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first came out from Mirage Studios, issues 1, 2, and 3, and 4, also the Raphael number 1 issue, those were all oversized copies. The only way you could get those in a bag and board was a magazine sized bag and board. These are not as big as those were, but let's take a look at some different comic book bag and board sizes and see what is gonna be something that is gonna work, what's not, and why. So let's take a look first at the modern comic book bag and board. These are what you're gonna put most of your new comic book day buys uh, from your LCS in. Uh, it's just a regular size bag and board, um, so these are not going to fit Silver Age or Golden Age, um, and they're not going to fit your last Ronin. As you can see, the last Ronin here sticks out on the top and on the sides, so there's no way you're going to get this bad boy in here. Not going to happen. So we can go ahead and we can get rid of that one because it's not going to work. Next, let's check out Golden Age. Because obviously modern's not going to fit. Silver Age is a little bigger, but not quite as big. But we know Golden Age bags and boards are a lot bigger than modern age. So let's see what this looks like. Now I will tell you guys, in a pinch, in a pinch, this will work. You can get it in there. See, you can see you have a little bit of board on each side here. So it fits side to side. However, if you look on the back it does stand up a little taller than your board is going to. Um, now you can get the flap to come over and come down, um, but again, you do have a little bit of the top border here that is gonna stick out. So, in a pinch, yes, a golden age bag and board will work. However, uh, it's not necessarily gonna be the, the end all be all and best thing to use. Uh, so again, we're gonna get that out of here. Now guys, this is what you want. This is what you want right here. This is a magazine size bag and board. Um, it's gonna fit perfectly. You're gonna have plenty of room on both sides. You're gonna have plenty of room on the top. You're gonna get a nice fit in there. Now, if you're like me, I know what you're thinking already. How's that gonna fit in my short box or my long box? It's too wide. It's not gonna fit. It's not going to. So then what do you do with your last Ronin? Do you leave it out on the desk somewhere? Put it up on a shelf? Uh, you know, leave it out and, and then worry something happened to it. No, 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 I got you covered there too, because we're not going to do that. We're actually going to modify this bag and board to fit this book perfectly. All right, now what are you going to need to do this? You're going to need a pen or a pencil. You're going to need some tape. I would recommend blue painter's tape, but I'm currently out. This is all I have, so we're going to use this today. And uh, of course, you want something with a edge. You want either a really sharp knife or you want to use a pair of scissors, whatever you're comfortable with. Now, I do want to let you know before we start here, what I'm doing here with this magazine size bag and board will not, I repeat, it will not work for the ash cans that came out. For those, you're going to want to go all the way up to the next level and you want to grab a treasury size bag and board all right so those are even bigger than the magazine size bags and boards that is what you want for your uh, ash cans for the last ronin so again this is not going to work for the ash can 
will not. So you got your magazine size bag and board. You're gonna wanna remove the board. And of course we all know we have a glossy side and a non-glossy side. Of course, I'm gonna use the non-glossy side here and I'm gonna lay my book down on top of it. Now, I'm going to make sure that I have a comfortable edge around the sides and top and bottom. You wanna move it all the way over to one side. Uh, I usually will make sure that I've got about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more uh, on the side here, just to give it some room there. I'm gonna take your pen and uh, it's up to you if you want to use a straight edge or if you want to just be an outlaw like me and attempt to draw a straight line freehanded because you're gonna wanna make sure again, you give about a quarter inch or so, whatever you're comfortable with on your on your room for your bags and boards with the comic inside. Uh, you, want, you don't wanna trace it right alongside the book here. Um, but you wanna make sure you give just enough so that you have the amount of room that you're looking for and uh, try to keep it the same on both. You're gonna run that pin all the way down that board. So you guys will see here. Got my line there, so I've got plenty of room. Take your book, get it way away from you. Now you're gonna take your knife or your scissors or whatever you use, and you're gonna wanna cut this excess off. Uh, if you're a Neanderthal like I am and decide to use a knife to try to cut a nice clean edge, you're probably going to end up with something that looks a little like this, but uh, it's it's all good. I made sure I still had enough room there. So now you're going to take your bag and board and put it back in your bag here. Make sure the shiny side is facing towards the flap because you want the book to hit the shiny side, hit that glossy side. So you're going to run it all the way to one side like this. So you've got some excess over here. And then we're gonna drop our book in. Just like that. Now, now what we're gonna do next is we're just going to tape this over. All right, now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna pull your flap down. You gotta pull this top corner all the way over. So you're taking all of your slack and you're gonna bring it over and you're gonna put a piece of tape right across that corner going down. So you take that corner right there, get that going there. And you're gonna go down here to the bottom, put a piece of tape there and you're all set. So now you have a uh, nice bag and board with a nice fit. Uh, it's not too big. You don't have an extremely uh, large extra amount of board there. It'll fit in your long box and your short box. Now the back side is not the most beautiful thing you'll ever see, but who's looking at that anyway when this is what you've got? So I hope that helps some of you who have had questions about how to bag and board these uh, big last Ronin books. This will also work, like I said, for the Mirage Volume 1 magazine size. That's what I did with those as well including my number one uh, that I just picked up recently. Uh, if you've seen me show that off, uh, that is done the exact same way. Um, I know I'm not the only one to do this, but um, I, I never saw like a how-to video. It was just something I was just kind of sitting here uh, when I got my ash can, and I was like, I gotta figure something out. What do I do? And uh, it just kind of popped in my head. I was like, oh, let me get a treasury size and just cut it down and make it fit. So that's what I did. Now, let's talk about the CGC submission of The Last Ronin. Now, I saw so many people asking about that in one of our videos recently where Nick was talking about books he wanted to send off to CGC. Um, now, Nick was told by someone who submitted one recently um, that you can submit these as a regular comic book. However, uh, that is not actually the case. Um, I have submitted them recently and we have also verified with CGC um, before we did this video, we made sure to verify with them so we can make sure we are giving you the right information. These will be submitted as a magazine when you submit them to CGC. 
that goes for the ash can it goes for uh, these last Ronin issue number ones uh, it goes for the Mirage Studios TMNT number one two three four Raphael number one um, all of those are going to be considered magazines when you submit them to CGC what does that mean uh, it just means they're graded in a different tier um, they are also going to cost more it will be more expensive and your wait time is going to definitely be longer on the magazine side because I don't think they have as many people maybe that grade the magazine so I think that puts a little bit of uh, extended time on how long it's going to take them to get them graded slabbed and sent back to you so just wanted to uh, make sure that we cleared the air on that with everybody uh, we hope everybody uh, has been able to learn something take something away from this video please drop us a comment let us know if there's anything that you missed if there's anything that, that that wasn't answered here if you still have a question please let us know you guys know we're here to help um, and and we appreciate all the comments all the questions all the love uh, thank you guys so much for being the best part of two brothers comics if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and as always guys collect your way